Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. Good evening everyone, and welcome to another edition of Reading Through the Bible. We're going to be reading Hebrews chapter 6 today. Let us go forward then to mature teaching and leave behind us the beginning of the Christian message. We should not lay again the foundation of turning away from useless works and believing in God, of the teaching about baptisms and laying of the hands, of the raising of the dead and the eternal judgment. Let us go forward, and this is what we will do, if God allows. For how can those who fall away be brought back to repent again? They were once in God's light. They tasted heaven's gift and received their share of the Holy Spirit. They knew from experience that God's word is good, and they had felt the powers of a coming age. And then they fell away. It is impossible to bring them back to repent again because they are nailing the Son of God to the cross once more and exposing him to public shame. God bless, blesses the ground that drink, drinks in the rain that often falls on it as it grows plants that are useful to those who for whom it is cultivated. But if it grows thorns and weeds, it is worth nothing. It is in danger of being cursed by God and will be destroyed by fire. But even if we speak like this, dear friends, we feel sure about you. We know that you have the better blessings that belong to your salvation. God is not unfair. He will not forget the work you did, nor the love you showed for him and the help you gave, and still give your fellow Christians. Our great desire is that each one of you keep up the eagerness to the end, so that things you hope for will come true. We do not want you to become lazy, but be like those who believe and are patient and so receive what God has promised. So this is pointing out that people that were once Christians or claimed to be Christians. And they felt the spirit, they felt the love of God, they felt the fire of God, but then turned from it. It's incredibly difficult for them to come back because if they knew the love of God and turned from it, either one, they were never truly Christians or uh, they had been led astray. Now, it is my belief that um, if someone does walk away, I think that they can come back. I just think it's incredibly difficult. Um, there's always hope for people. Um, salvation is unconditional. So if someone comes to Christ in true repentance, I believe he is a loving and just God. God's sure promise. Verse 13. When God made the promise to Abraham, he made a vow to do what he had promised. Since there was no one greater than himself, he used his own name when he made his vow. He said, I promise you that I will bless you and give you many descendants. Abraham was patient and he received what God had promised. When a man makes a vow, he used his name as someone greater than himself. And a vow settles all arguments between men. God wanted to make sure it was very clear to those who were to receive what he had promised. He would never change his purpose. So he added his vow to the promise. There are these two things. Then they cannot, they cannot change and about which God cannot lie. So we have found safety with him and greatly encouraged to hold firmly to the hope that is placed before us. We have this hope as an anchor for our hearts. It is safe and sure and goes through the, cir the curtain of the heavenly temple in the inner sanctuary. Jesus has gone in there before us on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever and ever. And this priestly the order of Melchizedek. So this is showing that we can trust God. He made a promise and he will keep it we can be comforted and feel secure in the promise of God 
that we have Jesus to take care of us. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will be back again tomorrow for topics.